Something you're gonna see a lot of is this cone. And Jonathan, it won't look exactly like the cone that yeah. we've come to know. It's a little different this year, for sure. By the middle of the hurricane season, you're gonna notice something a little different. A new air, exp air experimental cone gonna run alongside the traditional cone. Here's why. It opens up a discussion where people realize that there's a world beyond the cone. After years of research, the National Hurricane Center is looking into changes with its iconic tropical forecasting tool. So the reason for the change is people are just paying too much attention to the cone and not to the potentially life-saving watches and warnings that are issued by the National Hurricane Center. I'll show you the example of what is going to change. This is the cone that we've come to know over the past two decades. This example from Hurricane Ian back in 2022. You see the cone remaining prominent over the state of Florida. The colors along the coast, those are the coastal watches and warnings issued by the National Hurricane Center. Now the change that you will see in August of this upcoming hurricane hurricane season. Both of these are going to run side by side. So the old cone not going away. Same example, same advisory from Hurricane Ian. Note the difference. The cone kind of disappears over land and the colors are bright and prominent. So even if people don't understand necessarily what all those colors mean, they're going to walk away with a threat assessment. Some of the stories that we did when this first came out, people were like, oh, that looks more confusing sure. than the initial. What would you say to those folks that think, okay, now that we have all these colors and a cone, what would you say to them? And that sort of feedback was expected because that's been the dialogue all along. And that's why it's been at times frustrating that the cone didn't evolve. Back in 2022, when Hurricane Ian was headed toward Florida, people were focused on the center of the cone pointed toward the Big Bend in Tampa. At that time, however, life-saving alerts were in place for Southwest Florida, where the storm did eventually make landfall. Many people, though, chose not to evacuate. You gave the example of Ian. The storm surge watches and warnings were hoisted well in advance, ample notice. But people no longer look at watches and warnings anymore. And it's the hope of the National Hurricane Center that with this experiment, more people will begin focusing on the hazards. The cone does have use. It does have application. You use it. I use it. It has application. So I'm not telling people to stop looking at the cone. I'm saying, yes, look at the cone and look at these other components at the same time. Jamie wanted to make clear that, again, this is an experiment and it's likely to evolve. And here at the rest of the National Hurricane Center, they want to hear your thoughts on this new cone. You can take your phone, put it up to this screen right there. You can scan the QR code on the screen. A link is going to pop up to our website with more information on how you can share your thoughts with them.